Hi, this is Steve with OS Nexus, and in this video, I'm going to be setting up Quantastore on CentOS. Um, the install that we're going to do is basically just a minimal install of CentOS. So uh, we're going to go and, and do the, the real basics here. Uh, we've got minimal install. We've got to choose which destination. I've got a 16 gigabyte drive we're going to use to do the install on today. And then I've got some data drives here that we can use uh, later on to set up a pool of storage in, in the resulting Quantastore uh, system. Um, I'm just going to have it auto set up all the partitioning and all of that. So I'm just going to click done and we'll give the system a name here. So we'll give it a host name of just Quantastore. Apply that. Turn the networking bit on so it can get an IP address. That looks great. Um, let's go ahead and click uh, begin installation. All right, here's where the user settings are at. Um, we're going to go set up a, a root password on this box. I'm just going to pick qadmin for the demo here. So it's complaining that it's weak. Uh, and then user creation, I'm going to create a qadmin user account and set a password on it and make this an admin user. And if you choose a weak password like that, remember you got to click done twice. And uh, that's it. So basically, we're going to let the dem uh, the, the installation uh, complete here. And then uh, when this is done, we're going to run a script that's going to install Quantastore uh, all in one go onto CentOS. So I'm going to uh, let this run and then basically uh, fast forward through this part, and then we can jump right into the Quantastore part of the install. Okay, now the uh, uh, operating system is installed. I'm just going to click the reboot button to complete the installation. And then we'll log in at the console and start uh, uh, doing the Quantastore installation. Okay, now that it's all booted up, we're ready to log in and get Quantastore installed. Um, so I'm going to log in as the root user and use the qadmin password that we put in during the install stage. Uh, we can do like a IP adder here and see what IP address is. Okay, now I've logged in uh, using a, a better terminal emulator here. And really, we only need to run one command uh, to go and do the installation. Uh, we're going to use a curl command to go and download uh, the script that we use to install Quantastore onto the platform. And uh, this uh, installation script is located on our package server, and we're just going to pipe it out to this file where we'll call that QS upgrade sent to us. And uh, I'm just going to do a chmod on that file uh, so that we can run it. Um, at this point, you can run the script uh, and it will give you some help output. So what we're going to do is just do the install all and that's going to go and install everything that we need. So we'll do this and install all and press enter and it's going to start doing the installation. So a couple more minutes and then we'll be able to start logging in via the UI. I'm going to pause the video here and then resume uh, right as the install finishes up. Okay, it's just finishing up now. It's on step uh, installation stage 13 of 15, so it's installing uh, the last uh, pieces here. Uh, Quantastore, we're in, with Quantastore, we're installing everything that the platform needs up front. So once you've set uh, run this script, um, everything's in the platform, ZFS, Ceph, all the dependencies that, that it needs as an appliance, as a storage appliance platform to operate. So um, for the most part, everything else that you set up in the appliance, you'll be able to do right through the web UI. You can use our REST APIs and CLI as well. Um, you can, of course, still use the command line to run our command line utilities and run various Linux commands add additional packages uh, to the platform as well. Um, so if you have uh, particular um, uh, applications that you need to run within the CentOS platform, either for log collection or security or auditing, um, you're welcome to do that with the Quantastore platform. If it's gonna take over some of the key ports, um, uh, it's good to talk with our support team to make sure that it's not going to use some of the port numbers that the core services and our web management interface is using. Okay, the installation's done. Um, 
Uh, at this point, uh, we're able to log in to Quantastore through the web management interface. So I'm just going to bring up a browser here and bring that over, and then we'll log into the IP address of that box. And let me just bring that up uh, in the window here. And we're logged in, uh, we're, it's, it's loaded up the web UI now, and so we can just log in using the, the password uh, that's the default password. And that default password is just password. And put that in, click OK, and uh, now you can um, start using the system. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do after logging into the Quantastore system is to put in a license key. Rather, if you click the free trial page link on, on our website, this is where you can download and get the Community Edition keys or a Trial Edition key. Community Edition is a fully featured version of the product. It's just limited to four servers. Just enter uh, however many license keys you'd like sent, and then be sure to input your full name and email address, and it will uh, send you a license key. Uh, and then you'll, when you log in, uh, you'll just uh, right click here and say add license, accept the, light, the EULA, and then paste the key in. And at that point, you'll be able to start configuring the system. I'm going to generate a key and then uh, we'll paste that in there and give it a go. All right, I've got my trial key and I'm just going to uh, click OK to add that to the system. And it's going to say it requires activation and I'm just going to right click on it to activate it. This is going to go send an activation request to the Quantastore license server to go get this uh, system activated, and that, that's all there is. Uh, basically, take that key block, paste it in there, click Activate. Remember one, one more thing. This little button in the right-hand corner is our Getting Started page, and if you click on that, uh, it'll take you through all the common workflows. Um, that's all I wanted to cover for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any uh, questions on how to set up Quantastore or more, want more information on uh, using Quantastore with Red Hat or CentOS, uh, just in, email us at info at osnexus.com.